What's our mission statement? Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, this is so bad. What's the parish mission statement? I'll stick around. I don't know. <laughs> What's the parish mission statement? To love, live and love as Jesus did. What is our mission statement? Um. What, what the parish mission statement is? <laughs> Not fair. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> it's like. My friends, we gather here in this church, Sunday after Sunday, that we are gathered that we might be sent forth on mission. What is our mission? Very simply inspired by our patron Francis of Assisi to proclaim the reign of God. Experiencing Christ in word, in sacrament, and particularly the way our church is designed that we might encounter Christ in one another. We gather here because of Jesus Christ. For so many years, we've had a wonderful mission statement that has guided this parish community. It's now our vision statement. This vision statement, along with our new mission statement, helps to unite us, to unite all the many ministries of our parish community into one. We're one here at the Catholic community of St. Francis of Assisi, united through our mission. Okay, it's my pleasure to uh, speak briefly to you, my friends, about our new mission statement, which emphasizes the fact that this community of faith, this Catholic parish is committed, as we should be, to holiness, to hope, and to hospitality. Mission statements do two things. One, they hold a mirror up to ourselves so we can see ourselves as we are, that we are holy people filled with the Spirit of Christ, that we do offer hope and comfort to people who are suffering and struggling, and that you do welcome the many men and women who seek to come here to hear and to be nurtured by and rooted in the message of Christ. At the same time, a mission statement points us towards the future, challenging us to be ever more holy, deepening our relationship with Jesus Christ, especially during this year of faith that we celebrate, to continue to offer hope in a world where people are struggling amidst the chaos and darkness of their lives, and finally, to continue to be a community which opened, it, opened wide its arms in hospitality and welcome so that more and more men and women can come to know the, experience, the peace and comfort of our Lord Jesus Christ.